Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a complete guide video on the 2023 Ford F-150 XL trim. So in this video, we call our complete guides because we're going to cover all the standard equipment first, uh, kind of walking around in a sense, and then we're also going to talk about the uh, different equipment groups and the different packages available, even some standalone options. Uh, so we're going to be very thorough on this video. The timestamp's down below, so you can move around in this video all you want to. Uh, and I apologize for the length, but we can't call it a complete guide if we don't cover all of the options that are standard. So we're going to uh, talk all about these. So if you're interested in videos like this, want some good uh, product information videos, you might want to check out our channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed over to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So this uh, video will be very good for you if you're wanting to do a custom order through your local dealership because this will kind of tell you what's standard on an XL tram, where it starts, and then also what different packages you can even get on the XL and know whether or not you need to move on up to an XLT or if the XL has enough equipment for you for your new uh, vehicle purchase. So I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. And don't forget, if you are struggling to find our dealership, Law MacArthur is a dealership that we uh, can do orders for you. We are selling our vehicles at MSRP pricing, and we do free shipping. More information about the free shipping we'll have at the end of the video. So feel free to check out the timestamp for that, or just wait along until the end of the video, and we'll discuss it as well that at the end. So let's dive right in and talk about some of the mechanical features first. All right, so now we're going to start talking about the standard equipment first, and we, I like to start with the mechanical features. And you know, in the past, I've always waited until I had a vehicle here in person to kind of go over this, but I think this is really relevant now that uh, customers can custom order a vehicle. They don't want to wait until inventory shows up. For one, we're not going to see any inventory for a while because custom builds always come first. So I thought we'll just use Ford's website to kind of go over some of this. So hopefully, you won't get too bored looking at my face so uh now start off we are going to go over here and pull up uh ford's build and price website uh and i will tell you this the 23 order uh the 23 information build and price is not available at the time of recording this video it does take a couple weeks before they show up but we're going to use the 22 site for some of this information so some of it uh, will not be available for me to kind of show you off of this website but there's a lot of the uh, the same features that are still included in the 23 model some added but we can use it for at least some images but if you want to do and build this out hopefully once it's available here in a couple weeks uh, you're just going to go up here to trucks and vans when you go to ford.com and pick in your hopefully it'll say 23 actually what's that say now Oh, that just takes you to the f-150 so from there you can click on the building price or on the other end several different places building price is what you're looking for and eventually it'll say 2023 uh, and if you do uh, follow our live streams uh, every tuesday night at 7 p.m central time i actually update you on when these order guides are are up to up to date or i think at the bottom of each of these uh order guides you can uh or these building prices you can get information on uh, when it's, it becomes available and sends you an email. So we are going to look at here. So all of our different models available, XL, XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, Limited, uh, Trimmer, and Raptor. We are focusing in on the XL for this. So we're going to hit start your build. And I did not select that. So we'll just look at a regular cab. But we'll kind of use this as uh, close-ups on this um, for all of these. So we're going to kind of use some of these to kind of uh, show you uh, some things so we'll just pull this up and kind of show you some of the uh, features as we're going through this now uh, let's talk about the engines first the 3.3 liter v6 engine with auto start stop technology and uh, flex fuel uh, capabilities is going to be standard on your 4x2s and 4x4s uh, but that engine will not be available with your 156 157 inch wheelbase uh, which is your super crew long beds and your 163 inch wheelbase, which is your super cab with your eight foot bed. So that engine will not be available for those, but it'll be standard on those. So what's that mean? Well, that just means that when you want to go up to a 27, it's just going to have an extra cost for you. So at the standard price, that's the engine you're going to get. Now with the 2.7 liter V6 engine, which is going to be optional, it'll also come with the auto start stop technology. Uh, and that one is going to be standard on your four by twos, super crew with that six and a half foot bed that 157 inch wheelbase and your super cabs with the eight foot bed the 163 inch wheelbase for your two wheel drives so that'll be standard on those but also optional on those other configurations we talked about and then you have your 5.0 liter v8 engine which is also optional for you as an upgrade if you want to that'll come with the auto start stop technology and flex fuel capability 
And that engine will be standard though. If you put in a four by four with a 157 inch wheelbase, which is a super crew, the six and a half foot bed, or your super cab with an eight foot bed, the 163 inch wheelbase, they'll require you to have the 5.0 liter V8 engine. Now keep in mind, there are a couple other optional engines. You do have your 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine that's available for you, as well as your 3.5 liter power boost hybrid engine also available. Those are optional. Uh, they're not standard on any of the vehicles, so we won't talk too much about those. Uh, now, it does also come with the, uh, ten, the electronic 10-speed electronic ten automatic transmission. Uh, now, that transmission is not, of course, available with your power boost full hybrid engine. Uh, we'll come with select shift automatic transmission with the progressive range select. And uh, for all the 4x4s out there, we'll have the 4x4 electronic shift on the fly with neutral choke capabilities within that. And then you will have selectable drive modes. Whether you have two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, you're going to have a normal, eco, sport, tow haul, slippery mode. And if you have a two-wheel drive, you also have a trail mode. And on the 4x4s, you'll have a deep snow sand mode and a mud ruts mode. So those different drive modes, you of course, shift it into, you know, turn it into those different drive modes. It'll change the, the way the response is for your throttle, as well as electronic traction control. 4x4s will shift in and out depending on the different drive modes. Uh, so it's uh, real nice and easy to be able to do and uh, kind of nice as well. So now, um, the don't forget to, of course, these are going to come just like in 22, fully boxed steel frame uh, with the aluminum body alloy uh, outside. And then you do have the, your front independent uh, suspension. Uh, and then you do have fa uh, fail safe uh, cooling. You also have hill start assist. And you're going to also have front stabilizer bar uh, as well as standard equipment. And then you'll have electronic or electric parking brake with auto hold. Uh, so that gives a capability that it's a stoplight stop sign. It'll hold the brake for you if you want to. And I forgot to mention earlier, auto start stop. Uh, it will, what that'll do is it'll actually shut the vehicle off. If you go up to stoplight stop sign, you press the brake, it'll shut the vehicle off. Let go of the brake, it'll turn it back on. Now you can't disable that at any time for that engine cycle. Uh, pretty easily by uh, pressing usually somewhere in the vehicle there'll be an auto start stop button for you to be able to deactivate if you want to uh, last couple things on the mechanical we do have the uh, of course gas shock absorbers in the front you're going to have heavy duty in the back you're going to have heavy duty outboard mounted rear shocks so what's great about having them on the outside is for more stability for that bed back there and then your springs so front coil springs rear leaf springs two-stage variable rate on the rear springs and then you will have power uh, rack and pinion steering as well so that's all your mechanical features uh, again i wanted to make sure i go over that stuff a lot of that stuff's the same as it was in 22 but if you didn't watch those videos now you have it for the 22 23 model year now real quickly let me talk about some safety features and i have the same image here but we can also you know move this image around if you want to but uh, we'll just go uh that rate right there so for the safety features of course let's talk about your airbags driver and passenger front airbags and now they'll deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle you also have driver and passenger uh, seat uh, mounted side impact airbags that'll help protect from those side collisions and then safety canopy airbags with side curtain airbags for the first and second row coverage if you have a super cab or super crew version there you will have advanced track with roll stability control uh, and advanced track uses the curve control as well to help keep you on your intended path so if it's slick outside or you're going to curve a little too fast it'll help keep you on your intended path by using a series of brakes around the vehicle and hopefully not have that rollover situation and you will also have sos post crash alert system that's going to honk the horns flash the lights if you're in an accident off the side of the road there's some other safety features but i feel like they're actually features as part of the you know the exterior or interior of the vehicle so we'll cover those as we go around to different parts of the vehicle all right, now we're going to talk about the exterior of the vehicle, starting at the front of the vehicle. Uh, and I switched to white as well as with the super cab, so you can kind of see some of these features a little bit easier to see uh, on these. So, of course, starting with the grill, you will have a black two-bar style grill with the black surround. Uh, so pretty cool look there, too, with the black accents. Um, doesn't real look that basic. Uh, looks uh, uh, like a really nice grill, even for the XL trim. You will have the bumpers. Uh, of course, the front, uh, the top fascia, is a right up in here you can see that that is uh, going to be body colored as well so in this case at oxford white now down here you're going to have the black front bumpers as well as the rear bumpers it is going to be black more durable that way 
protecting the vehicle not have those uh painted you know rock chips and such on those and now for your uh headlights you will have a halogen headlights with the black bezels uh, in there you will also get daytime running lamps available so it's an on off in the cluster it's controllable so you can turn that off when you need to and such also you're going to get auto headlamps so automatic means it'll come on automatic when it gets dark shut off when it gets light when you have it set in that auto setting so that's uh that's gonna be standard equipment on these also you do have your rain lamp uh wiper activated headlights which means you have your wipers on the headlights will come on so in a lot of states it is a state law forge got you covered there also you get auto high beams so that's part of the co-pilot suite of features auto high beams are going to turn on and off uh, when you when you need them so if you have those uh activated when it's dark enough outside those auto high beams will come on someone approaches you in the or you're in the city lights those high beams will come off now that is again something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your setting screen there uh, also lane keeping system again this is a uh, it's kind of under the safety features but lane keeping system helps you keep you in the center of your lane so uh, you, it has you know alert system and aid system so depending on how, what you're wanting to use the uh, the alert system will still allow you to leave your lane but it will vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane whereas the aid system will help you keep you in your lane so that's uh, also something easy uh, to be able to use so great I love the lane, keep, lane keeping system that is something that can be activated anytime you do not have to have the the cruise control on to use you can even use it in town uh, I think it's a, a great use uh, and great safety feature there. Another safety feature that I felt like uh, really belonged here on the front of the vehicle is a pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. It includes pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, as well as dynamic brake support. So the way that works is if there's someone that's going much slower than you and you're not paying attention, it's going to use a series of uh, lights on the dash, a series of it's alerts that you need to stop preloads those brakes so that when you're ready to, when you hit the brake you're going to stop even faster and be ready to go so that's a, a great system to help keep you you know paying attention as well and so that way you don't rear end somebody also you do get post collision braking which means maybe if you're unconscious or something you're not able to put it in park uh, it's going to break so that way you don't have a if you once you get in that collision uh, so you don't make a more severe accident and such so that's all your front uh uh, features there now moving to the side we can use the same graphic here uh, we do have 17 inch uh, silver steel wheels uh, so that's going to be standard equipment on all of your uh, on your xl we'll talk about options later uh, and different packages that will change that wheel for you also you're going to have different tires depends on if you have two-wheel drive or four by four so all season tires for your two-wheel drive all terrain tires for your four by four you also have tire pressure monitoring system for all four of your tires too to help monitor tire pressure and such. Let's talk about the brakes. So four wheel disc brakes with ABS is gonna be standard equipment here. Also notice the emblem, you have F-150, it'll say XL over there, it'll be black, uh, you know, that fender badge over there. And then for your mirrors, you do have a black mirror cap here. It is gonna be a manual fold mirror, power mirror, power glass with heat, so heat, Power heated mirrors is standard equipment on an XL trim. Uh, great feature to have. Door handles are going to be black as well. Whether it be, you know, if you have a Super Crew, all four of them will be black uh, with the black bezel around that. And then if you have the Super Cab version, you open the front door. These side doors here will open up 170 degrees. So you can get it open real nice and easy, even in a parking lot that way. And then, of course, on the Super Crew, you're going to have uh, four front uh, hinged uh, doors just like you'd have in a car or a sedan. Easy fuel capless filler door right back here that you just open out that that outside one. No cap to worry about leaving behind getting your hands dirty so you don't have a cap at all so you just uh, real nice just put the nozzle in there. It's a double door system so it does have to have the exact size nozzle that you get from the fuel uh, uh, fuel pump so if you have to you know use a tank to fill it up if you have one that's completely out of gas you want to use the funnel that's provided it's located with the jack behind the rear seat on the passenger side of the vehicle uh, fuel tanks standard range is going to be a 23 gallon fuel tank for your regular cab and super cab 26 gallon for your super crew versions there so there's an option for extended range we'll get into that when we get to optional equipment and then lastly, these are a couple safety features, but I like to throw them here on the side. And that is you do have perimeter alarm 
and you have secure lock passive NFS system. So secure lock passive NFS system means that that code, that key is coded. So when you put that key in there, you'll start it up. Only that key can, of course, can start it. When you shut it off and take it out, it automatically locks that steering column. So without that coded key, it cannot unlock that steering column or allow you to start the vehicle. And then perimeter alarm has a has intrusion sensors as well as inclination sensors, which means if someone tries to take your tires or wheels and then jacks that up, it's gonna see that it's raised up and it's gonna set the alarms off. If someone opens your door or breaks the window, it's gonna see have intrusion sensors to know if there's someone inside when you have the vehicle locked and there's nobody already occupying the inside of the vehicle. So. Uh, those are some great features uh, there that I wanted to cover. Now, go to the rear of the vehicle. We're going to turn this around so we can see. There you go. See a little image there as we go through that. So uh, on the rear of the vehicle, you do have up here a cargo uh, lamp is what they call it. So it's uh, integrated with the center high-mounted stoplight. So you'll have that stoplight up here. You'll have two cab lights as well in there that will light up so you can see in the bed a little bit easier. Rear window is going to be a solar glass back here, so it's fixed solar glass on that back glass only. Uh, the rear bumper, you will have a black rear bumper back here, just like with your front bumper, and you will have a side exhaust tip back there. Also, you're going to get reverse sensing system as standard equipment on the XL Tramp. So now you're going to have not only the rear view camera behind the Ford emblem, but also the rear sensors. On an XL, you're going to be able to see behind you and get alerted if you get too close to anything. So that's a nice upgrade. I feel like it's an upgrade. Don't think I remember that being there last year. So you're going to have that. Also, for trailer towing, uh, for trailer towing, you're going to have a four-pin wiring is going to be uh, on the vehicle. You will have access to be able to put to mount a ball there on the bumper if you want to to do some bumper pulling. And you'll also get trailer sway control uh, standard equipment too. Uh, and then underneath the, the vehicle is where you're going to see the spare tire. So you're going to be under there. There is a little, uh, you can't see it here, but there's a little spot right there where it does lock that. So they can't just uh, lower that down. Uh, you have to have the key to, to unlock that compartment so it's lockable for your spare tire and wheel. And then you lower that down. And then, of course, you have that, that thing to use to lower that down will be with your jack. Again, located on the passenger side behind the rear seat of the vehicle. Uh, Power tailgate lock is standard equipment. We don't have a 101A equipment group this year, uh, or a 100A, so it's all in the 101A. So you're gonna get, um, we'll see when we get inside, but you're gonna get a power tailgate lock standard equipment on the XL trim now. Also get uh, a tailgate uh, lift assist, so it makes it a little bit easier to lift that tailgate up. And you're gonna get a lockable, uh, you have a key, but you'll have the remote that's gonna lock it too, um, cause you're gonna have keyless entry remote be able to unlock the the tailgate's going to lock with the rest of the vehicle so you can actually pull that that tailgate is removable as well uh, inside you will have four pickup box tie downs for you and for your power boost if you do go with the optional power boost engine then you're going to it's going to come standard with 2.4 kilowatts of pro power on board as well uh, so you're going to have the outlets a couple outlets back there in the bed so you're going to have uh, standard pro power on board for those with the power boost engine. So that's all our exterior features. Let's jump inside, cover some of the interior features. Now let's talk about some interior features, and we're going to kind of use a few of these images off of Ford's website under the interior uh, features section, and uh, we'll flip back and forth and even do a 360 view, and I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit here. But starting here, you will, when you're getting in, you're going to get scuff plates. and don't really see it in here but because you can't see the door, but you will see there's a little bit of it right there on that edge, but you're going to get scuff plates for the driver and front passenger doors. Uh, just helps protect when you're getting in and out uh, stepping on those. Uh, illuminated entry as well with the fade off interior lighting too so you're going to have that those of course most vehicles have that anyway already but uh, again it's not a complete guide unless i tell you everything and we do have as you can see in the floor vinyl flooring so standard equipment in this so you'll have the vinyl flooring so you can you know wipe those down uh, especially those of you who are using this for farming, something like that. At least we do around see that a lot around here. They go with the XL trim for that reason. Have that vinyl flooring in there. For your seats, you can see it right here. That center one is folded down, but you do have a 40-20-40 uh, split bench front seat. It is cloth seating uh, uh, features there. Uh, you will have a two-way manual driver and passenger adjustment. Can't really tell it here, but there's a bar on the front part of that, so you can make that seat go forward and back. And then you have a lever here, manual lever for your recline to be able to recline as well there. So uh, that's going to be uh, that's how that's going to work. Armrests as well. You can open it up for our little compartment to put things in, as well as you have some cup holders there too. Uh, 
you see that little lever on the side that's what allows it to unlock and lock up and down so uh, for the rear seat, you will see it's a nice bench seat here, so in the back, so cloth bench seat in the back, you will have two USB charging ports back there behind at the bottom on the console back there, you won't be able to see it, Ford doesn't have really any images to be able to see that, but you're going to have that 60-40 uh, flip up seat uh, cushion, so you can see where it's kind of separated right there, uh, those can flip up, give you, uh, you can put stuff in there and storage and all that kind of stuff for your super cab. Uh, you also have 60-40 flip-up uh, seat for the Super Crew, but it'll be a wider cushion. So it'll be an elongated cushion for a Super Crew because you'll have more room in there. So it'll be a wider seating feature there. Now let's go to this other view here. There we go. There we go. So we go to that view, and let's make this a little bigger so you can see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, you will have power windows. Um and uh the power windows front and rear it is showing a manual window over here again this is xl this is the version from 22 23 now because there's no one there is not a 100a equipment group it goes straight to 101a uh, you will now have power windows front and rear one touch up and down for the driver window and the passenger front windows so both of those so you're going to get power windows standard equipment now uh if you also the, the rear windows if you have a um not of course not a regular regular cab but super cab or super crew will have power windows in the back as well power door locks with the flip key so you'll have a, a keyless entry remote with a, a transmitter so you can unlock lock it from a distance with a flip key uh, go, includes your tailgate as i mentioned earlier uh, you will have a poly uh black urethane steering wheel manual tilt and scope telescoping means there's a lever under there pull that lever it'll go forward and back up and down so you can get it just right uh, you also have audio controls here on the steering wheel too and uh, also cruise control so you'll have cruise control is standard equipment on your xl trim uh, for this model year you will have a four inch productivity screen if you can see through there that's that center screen through the steering wheel where your speedometer and tack is right in between there. Uh, of course, you'll have compass display in the instrument cluster. You'll have uh, an outside temperature display. Of course, your gauges and everything, fuel, oil pressure, transmission temperature, all those will be in there as well. Speedometer, of course, odometer and tack and all that. Now, looking over here to the climate control, it'll have a single zone manual uh, climate control. Uh, so you can kind of see that right there where you use that the dials to, to of course, for your temperature and your fan speed and everything. Uh, for your audio controls, AM, FM, stereo, four speakers for regular cab, six speakers for your super cab and your super crew versions. You will see there, Sync 4 is standard equipment. Eight inch touchscreen with the Sync 4 is standard on all of your uh, F-150s, just like last year. Wireless phone connection, uh, cloud connected uh, capabilities, 911, 911 assist, another safety feature, so you can call 911 directly if you have your Bluetooth enabled phone connected to the system. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well is uh, capable and is included, and your digital owner's manual is also on, in the screen too. Uh, up here in the mirror, can't see it here. Here we go. Day night mirrors. There's a little lever under there. So if someone co come up behind you with those bright lights, you just flip that mirror down so it's manually adjusted. And you can't really see the visors, but on your visors, you will have a visor course for the driver and passenger. The passenger will have a mirror in, on theirs uh, as well uh, if you need it. So there is a look in here. There is a, some USB ports right in here. Uh, right there so two USB ports looks like there's some down here as well so you'll have a couple different ones so two of them are, char are charging ports and two of them are for data ports so if you want to use the Android Auto and such you would want to make sure you use these ones here on the center console I believe uh, as well as you do have a PowerPoint right there too so uh, right there so that'll be uh, really nice to have too and then you do have Ford Pass Connect so that's a way to, for you to stay connected to the Ford Pass app using your phone so you connect that and that way you can make and receive phone calls or make and receive or you can unlock and lock your vehicle you can also set specific times if you want to remote start your vehicle you can do that as well uh schedule remote start times and remote start any time uh locate your vehicle and such like that so pretty nice on how all that works and so that's all of our standard features uh so far so let's get in some of these different uh the there is a 102a equipment group this year so let's talk about that equipment group before moving on to some packages so now I want to talk about a new equipment group for the XL trim, and that is, uh, well, let's just talk a little bit about last year we had in 22, there was a 100A equipment group, which is what was standard equipment. As you notice as we went through the um, 
the XL standard equipment, that is now called the 101A equipment group, which previously that would have been, you know, power windows, power locks, cruise control, a lot of those features. That's all now standard uh, because 101A is your standard equipment now this year for the XL trim. So they're giving you all those features. But because of that, now they give us a hype 102A equipment group. Uh, some people call it the high package. And so we're going to go over this pack and to let you know what do you get with this package. Um, really weird. Um, one of the first things I noticed on here is, is that it removes the illuminated entry and the heated side view mirrors. Not sure why. I'm sure it will uh, we'll, uh, clue us in as we get going here. Uh, and I think I see uh, why possibly right here. So one of the things you will get as part of this equipment group is the Copilot 360 2.0 will be included in this equipment group that gives you uh, already uh, you know there's things that are included in that because of the co-pilot suite of features but it mentions the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking we already have that also mentions the lane keeping system which we already have that uh, also mentions the rear view camera the auto high beams the reverse sensing uh, and the post collision braking all those are already included in that package so what you really get out of this is you're getting the bliss with cross shift alert so that's that blind spot information system with cross check alert so monitors your blind spot if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time and also as you're backing up it monitors your cross traffic so if someone's going to cross your path behind you uses those same sensors to alert you let you know and even put a message on your instrument cluster that there's someone coming for it's not safe for you to back up so that's included in this as part of this package as well as you get the reverse brake assist so a lot like your pre-collision assist now as you're backing up so if you're gonna if you're not paying attention you're backing up it's gonna break the vehicle so you don't back up into a bike or to a person uh, uh, that backing up so that's gonna be included too so that's those two main features you're gonna add on top of the copilot suite of features you already receive uh, as part of the standard equipment you also get the rear window is gonna be affixed with a rear defroster so now you're gonna get that solar uh, back glass that's fixed but now you also get the uh, rear privacy glass, and you're going to get the rear defroster on that back window. Also, you're going to get a, uh, for the seating configuration, this is where you get your bucket seats. You're going to get the 40 console 40 flow through console with the steering column. Uh, so a lot of people like that configuration. You get that even on the XL trim. Uh, so that's going to come in included here as well as you get the sync four with the enhanced voice recognition system that includes the Sirius XM and the 360L with that. So 8 inch touchscreen like we did see before. Uh, you get all those other features, 911 Assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Digital Owner's Manual. But now you're gonna get the connected navigation and you're gonna get the conversational voice command recognition. So this is an upgraded system to what you receive uh, as part of the 101A equipment group. So this is a nice little uh, package here, gives you, gives you that bliss. Uh, gives you some of those uh, those features, the reverse brake assist, the, the enhanced, the net connected navigation. Now that means that you still have to get, that's a subscription-based navigation system, so you know that. Um, also get the conversational commands, so some upgrades there, as well as the bucket seats uh, too. Uh, really not sure um, why you lose the heated mirrors. Does it make sense there? So... Uh, maybe this is just a typo or something. Uh, this is new, so sometimes they will refresh these. We'll get more information on that, but it uh, looks like that's a nice equipment group and allows for some availability for some different options. So let's talk about some of the different optional packages that you can get on the XL trim. Now we're going to start talking about some different appearance packages, and this is an appearance package that was available last year uh, that we're going to talk about, and that is the XL Chrome appearance package. This is available in either the 101A equipment group or the 102A equipment group. Either one of those, it's available uh, available in either the, any of the cab configurations as well. Also uh, available with any of your motors as well. So the only uh, requirement is that it's optional on the XL um high package as well as the standard package uh the only thing is not available with is it's not available with your heavy duty payload package so keep that in mind if you want to add that you cannot add this chrome appearance package so what are you going to get for this package you are going to get the chrome bumpers as you can see right here you get chrome front bumpers as well as you get the chrome rear bumpers so there you go chrome bumpers on the front as well as the rear and you also get these fog lights as well so that's an upgrade when you go to this package so you get fog lights and you get the 17 inch alloy wheels as well so real nice upgrade so bumpers 
fog lights and the wheels nice little package 895 i don't know if that's gonna be the same price for 23 so some of those prices will change but there's a nice little appearance package that you can upgrade uh if you like to and we're going to talk about some other appearance packages as well if you want to go more of the sport route let's look at that one now we're talking about the stx appearance package now one thing i did forget to mention is that earlier that the 102a equipment group uh does require you to go to super crew version you cannot get a um super cab or regular cab in the uh the 102a equipment group so with this one here the stx appearance package is available in your xl super cab or super crew version or on the the high the high package the 102a equipment group requires of course the super crew so uh now it is not available with a lot of different things so we're going to run through this list here so it's not available with your power boost um hybrid engine not available with your eight-way power driver's seat uh so if you decide to collect to go as adding that as an option you will not be able to do that heavy duty payload package just like with the chrome package and of course not available with your other appearance packages not available with the chrome package or the rattler package or the black appearance package and not available with the snow plow prep package and also not available in your super cab long bed the eight foot bed so this is more for a sporty look so you got to keep to that short bed but it looks like it is available with the super crew long bed so you want the six and a half foot bed so what does it include it doesn't give you the 18 inch uh, alloy wheels they are the six spoke machine alloy wheel with the black um, painted pockets so uh, real nice gloss black painted pockets and then of course it depends on if you have two-wheel drive four-wheel drive you'll have the either the all-season or all-terrain tires uh, that goes along with those you'll get body colored front and rear bumpers as you can see here so you have those so click this around you can kind of see how that looks from the side view with those uh, tires and the bumpers back there you also get a decal back here stx uh, package if it's four x four it will include the four x four decal now if you do get the fx4 off-road package uh, with this package you will get the fx4 graphics instead uh, also you get the rear defrost on this uh, package so if you don't have the 102a equipment group you get the rear defroster with this package um, and then your front grill so let's look at this grill for a second you'll notice it's a little bit different style grill kind of have that i like call it the, the floating uh ford emblem uh, grill here but it does have that molded in black honeycomb grill uh with the body colored surround as you can see around here so real nice look to it uh, that's also included you also get privacy glass so that's the tinted glass here in the back glass and the side windows for the rear uh, seats back here. So you're going to have the privacy glass. Uh, Sirius XM and uh, 360. Um, so you're going to have that. Now, again, if you don't go to the, unless you go to the 102A equipment group, it is included, is uh, already in that equipment group. Uh, but if you like to go with this one, it is going to be included there. Also, you're going to get the Sync 4 with that enhanced voice recognition so so you're getting some of the features as part of that 102a equipment group with this package so you can pretty much go one 101 a and add this and get some of those features already including the rear defrost in fact a lot of those features already you get the rear defrost you get the um you do not get the stuff the copilot 360 uh, 2.0 those other features but you do get the rear defroster um, and you get the sync four so that's really nice and you also get the 40 20 40 bench seat so it is a unique black black sport seats that will be cloth uh, to that uh, and so that's really nice little packaging you have here you can upgrade if you want and get the 20 inch wheels to go along with that and then you can also get the 40 20 40 split bench seat so which is part of the 102 equipment group so you're getting about everything but your bliss here is from the 102a plus the look of the uh the sport appearance package so real real cool little package if you want to go that route uh, again if you want to go to uh one other uh going to take it up one more step next let's talk about that black appearance package now let's talk about that stx black appearance package uh that's available this year uh, pretty similar to last year's package now uh kind of go through this of course uh it is the availability on this is it's available on the xl with the mid package super crew and super uh super crew and super cab only not available in the regular cab uh on the the 101a equipment group and then on the high package uh, it's available with the super crew of course you're required to get that on the 102a equipment group anyway uh now some things to note that is not available with so just so you know this uh 2.7 liter ecoboost with the two-wheel drive is not available with this package 
kind of weird there uh the 3.3 liter engine is not available with that it's not available with the two-wheel drive with the 3.5 ecoboost uh, and not available with the power boost uh hybrid like we talked about and the other one and again not available with the eight-way power driver seat um not available with the two payload packages whether it be the heavy duty payload package or the 2.7 liter ecoboost payload package not available either one of those and of course not available with the other parents packages you can't get this with the sport package or the or the um the chrome package or the rattler package or the snowplow prep package so keep that in mind when you're trying to figure this up of why it's not coming up it does require to have the 144 145 inch wheelbase so whether it be a super crew uh, you're gonna have to go super crew a short bed which is six and a half or the super or, i'm sorry super cab <laughs> with the six and a half foot bed which is 145 inch wheelbase or the super crew with a five and a half foot bed uh either one of those and does require you to have a, a class four hitch or the trailer tow package with this one here so does include a lot of things we just talked about as part of the stx appearance package so you're going to get the body colored front and rear bumpers you're going to get the side decals uh over there uh it'll say stx it'll be black though it'll look a little different we'll have a red accent on it the rear defroster as well is going to be included here privacy glass on these side windows um, and then also you're going to get the Sirius XM with the 360L Sync 4 with enhanced recognition system. Again, things that you see on the 102A and unique cloth bucket seat or bench seat 402040. But you can get the optional bucket seats if you want instead. Uh, what do you get on this one that you don't see on the other one though? And that is the black appearance graphics and such. So you're going to see the black graphics there. Also, see if I can get a good back view here. You're going to see the black accent on the uh, tailgate too. So it's going to fill in those letters with the black graphics there. You're going to get a chrome tip dual uh, or chrome tip exhaust back here. And then you'll see the upgraded 20 inch black wheels. Uh, so that is a gloss black painted alloy wheel that you're going to get with that. Um, and then you do get dual exhaust with the black tips uh, with this package too. So dual exhaust there. And then you also, I don't know if you noticed that, but you get fog lights as well. So uh, you did not see the fog lights on the STX appearance package. We showed you that on the chrome package. You need the black appearance package if you want a sport look to that. Um, and then what else? We get a manual lumbar for the uh, in seats, uh, seat back pockets as well with this package. So STX appearance, black appearance package, real nice upgrade for that. If you want to get a nice sport look, the black wheels and such, uh, this is a package you may want to decide to get. Now I want to talk about the Rattler package. This is a new package for the this year. Uh, was not available before. It's a nice off-road uh, appearance package and off-road capable package. So, um, and it's a it's a pretty cool little package that includes some things more than you get what's on the FX4 off-road package. So, I actually did a video on this one uh, when we did a video talking about what's new for 2023. So I'm going to play you that clip right now, and so you can kind of see what's included in this package. Let's first talk about that Rattler package. Again, Rattler package is optional on the XL with the mid or high. So 101A or 102A, which is new for this year. I didn't really mention that earlier. We didn't talk about that, but uh, 102A equipment group now uh, for the XL. Um, and is not available with the 3.3 liter engine. And not available with your FX4 off-road package, which makes sense. Uh, my key, not available with my key. Uh, not available on with the XL Chrome Appearance Package. Um, not available with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost uh, Payload Package. Uh, so that those, neither one of the two payload packages, whether you go with the 2.7 or your Heavy Duty Payload Package, won't be available with those or your Snowplow Prep Package or your STX Appearance Package or your STX Black Appearance Package. So not available with any of those packages. Um, and then does require you to have the 4x4 as well as does require you to have the Super Crew uh, short wheelbase, the 145 inch wheelbase as well. Uh, and does also require you to have either the tow, trailer tow package or your class four hitch. So either one of those is also required. So what's included in this package? So we'll come with, I'm just gonna read this through the order guide because I wanna get this video out as quickly as possible. Uh, so this does have the dual exhaust with the black tips. So that's going to look real cool. And I'm going to try to get you some clips from uh, Ford's website when this was introduced um, months ago. Also, 18-inch dark painted alloy wheel. So pretty cool looking alloy wheel. Also, with the uh, your all-terrain tires. So you're going to have uh, black, uh, black sidewall all-terrain tires that are going to be included with those wheels. And then, of course, on the box side, you're going to have that Rattler 
logo, which is really cool on those. And you will have, um, of course, rear defroster on that back window. So electronic rear window defroster, privacy glass as well. So 10 of those back windows, uh, again, required on the Super Crew. Also going to give you the halogen fog lights too, kind of required. If you're going off-road, you kind of need those fog lights. So you're going to get that on the vehicle. Also the black interior with the unique bronze colored accents so uh so different unique interior inside also get the black seating with the bronze colored inserts and stitching too so very dedicated not only as an outside but also gives you a different look on the inside too um three point uh 331 electronic locking rear axle uh with um the 5.0 liter engine or the 3.5 liter v6 ecoboost engine so either one of those two engines will get the 331 e-lockers uh 355 electronic locking rear axle with the 2.7 ecoboost and then the 373 e-locker with the 3.5 liter power boost so you can get in those engines with that also on the inside will include include your floor liners it's the tray style those all weather mats you're used to getting um, in there. It doesn't say if it's front and rear. I assume it is. Uh, does not get the carpeted mats to go with it. So you just get all weather mats if you order this package. You will get hills descent control. Pretty common. You see that and again. You can have a lot of uh, a lot of these extra features that we're going to talk about now are going to be mirrored to what you see on the FX4 package. So hill descent control is one of those. Off-road tuned front shocks. Uh, so you'll have that as well as monotube. Uh, rear shocks on the vehicle so give you the off-road uh, front and rear shocks you will get rock crawl mode oh, probably the only way you're going to get that on the xl trim is with this so that is a new uh, rock crawl mode was available on the trimmer package um, and now you're seeing it on this as well you see that also on the raptor so go on, having a rock crawl mode and then of course you'll have your skid plates too to protect uh, the fuel tank the transfer case and your front differential and then you do have options if you want on those gear ratios if you want to upgrade so the 355 will be available for the 35 ecoboost engine um, and you 373 also available with the 2.7 liter ecoboost or the 5.0 liter v8 engine so that is a rattler package nice little off-road package that's available on your xl trim now i want to talk about another package you can get and this is the fx4 off-road package just checking my notes it is available on either the 101a equipment group or the 102a equipment group um, and it is not, let's see, it's not available with a 3.3 liter engine and does require the 4x4. Otherwise, you can add this to your vehicle, whether it be a regular cab, super cab, or super crew, uh, which is a nice uh, flexibility to have. So this package here, I'm showing you, uh, if you go to the uh, building price, you can actually pull this up. And here's uh, from, based on 2020, what's included. Uh, I'm going to run it through with my notes. 3.3, 331 electric locking rear axle with the 5.0 liter uh, V8 engine or the 3.5 EcoBoost engine. Um, so that's the gear ratio you're going to have. Um, also, if um, does have does mention here that um, axle is changed to the 373 E locker uh, if you order the heavy duty payload package uh, with that engine. So, and then also the gear ratio is 355 electronic locking rear axle with the 2.7 EcoBoost. Again, it's changed to 373 if you uh, order the 2.7 EcoBoost payload package. So if you add those packages, you're going to know uh, that change will be done. You also get a decal on the side. You can kind of see it in that image there on the left side over there. So FX4, that will always be on the vehicle. Even if you have a sport appearance package or some sort of appearance package, if you also add the FX4 package, you're going to see that decal there on the side. And one thing it doesn't note in here is, is that this package uh, would not be available with your Rattler package. So just keep that in mind if you go that route. It doesn't mention it here in our notes, um, but we did notice that when we talked about the Rattler package just a little bit ago, that um, that package is not going to be uh, compatible with the FX4 off-road package. So it's one or the other. Uh, even though they forgot to mention it in that. So I'll reach out to the brand manager and let them know that. But uh, you do also get the floor liner, tray style, uh, without the carpeted mats. Um, you'll get those floor liners. Um, and then also you will have the hill descent control as well. That'll help you out. So we see that a lot of times on these packages. Off-road tuned front shocks and the monotube rear shocks. You're seeing a lot of comparisons here to the Rattler package there. Also, you get a rock crawl mode, just like with the Rattler package. So you're going to have that capability too. That's something that's included just recently, last uh, several years, is that rock crawl mode, which we only did see in like the Tremor package and your Raptor. Now, since I think last year, that was now included in this package. 
And then you're also going to get your skid plates uh, that'll protect the fuel tank, transfer case, and your front differential there. Uh, and don't forget, you know, I know these are the standard uh, uh, ratios for the e lockers, but you can upgrade to from the 331 to 355 if you want to, or from the 355 to the 373. Uh, it does mention that down below as optional equipment, as well as upgrading your tires too to go along with that. So, a uh, nice little package if you're planning to take this off road. The FX4 off-road package is available on your XL truck. Now let's talk about another package available on either the 101A Equipment Group or the 102A Equipment Group. And any configuration, as you can see, it's available on the XL or the XLT. Uh, and this, uh, this, I, this package, the bed utility package here, um, does require you to have the fog lights. Not mentioned there, but you can get that. And fog lights are a standalone option we'll talk about in just a little bit. Uh, but this is a nice little package. It gives you some great features. doesn't show a lot of them there. And, um, so, But you do get the LED box lighting as part of this. So the lights that are in the back corners of the cab, uh, or the bed, I should say. And that you can turn on. So you can light up the bed so you can see inside of it. Also, you get zone lighting as part of this. So that uses the lights around the vehicle to light it up. So uh, nice uh, that you get the zone lighting. Um, of course, that looks like uh, is standard on some of the features already, but on the XL does does upgrade and give you the zone lighting. You also get the box link system, which you can actually see that gives you the lockable cleats over here and the plates in the side of the bed, so you can uh, tie things down a little bit different, add some other accessories to it. And you also get the tailgate step, which also includes the, the work surface. Uh, so you get that tailgate step. You kind of see that tailgate step there on the top of that. So you're going to get the tailgate step as included with this package too. So it's a great package if you want that tailgate step, the work surface, as well as your box link. Even gives you the LED box lighting and zone lighting on top of it. It's a great little package for uh, $700 that you can add. Again, optional on the 101A or the 102A equipment group. So let's talk about a couple different payload packages now, starting with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost uh, payload package. Uh, this package really, it's going to upgrade, allow you to be able to, to, to haul more in that bed, uh, as it mentions there. Now, it also does, of course, as it sounds, requires a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine and does also require the trailer tow package. Now, this is not available with your regular cab short bed. That's that 122 inch wheelbase. Um, and does require the trailer tow package, so it's not available, of course, with the max trailer tow package or your class four hitch package. Um, so just keep that in mind. And it includes, as you can see there, it will include the 373 electronic lock air rear axle and the 9.75 inch gear set. So again, allowing you to, to haul more because of that, you need to upgrade a gear ratio and the e-locker in the back as well. So uh, this is a nice little payload package. So if you want to increase the amount that you can tow and haul in the bed, this is a great package for you to add. Now let's talk about the heavy duty payload package. Another payload package is available uh, on the XL trim on either the 101 or the 102A equipment group. And as you can see there, it does require to have the, either the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine or the 5.0 liter V8 engine and does also require the max trailer tow package. Uh, now this, this package does come with a 373 electronic locking rear axle, the 9.75 gear set. So we did see that with the 2.7, but you're also gonna get the 36 gallon fuel tank, the upgraded all-terrain tires, upgraded rear springs, and you're also gonna get the 18 inch silver painted alloy wheel uh, the heavy duty payload package wheel. So it's a little different wheel than you get on the others. Um, so now keep in mind, this is not available with that 122 inch wheelbase. That's your regular cab short bed. And then the 145 inch wheelbase, because that is your, your super crew short bed or super cab short bed. So you have to get the long bed for these. So whether it be the regular cab long bed or super cab or super crew long beds, that is required and not av available with your appearance packages. So you can't get this with the STX appearance package or your XL Chrome appearance package uh, too. So, and it doesn't mention the black appearance package, but I think that's supposed to be in there because um, it's not available with those. Um, now it doesn't say it's not available with your FX4 off-road packages or your Rattler package. So it uh, should be still be available with those. So that's something you, if you wanna add again, more payload, if you have the 5.0 or the EcoBoost, then you wanna add this package. So now we're going to talk about some different tow packages. So th really three different advancements in the tow package for this. So starting with the class four trailer hitch, it is a package because it includes several features. And as you can see here, it is available with the XL. It's available on either the 101A or 102A equipment group on any of the different cab configurations uh, as well. So we'll uh, show you there. It does 
it is included uh what's included in this is a seven pin wiring harness uh also, you get the four pin, the seven pin adapter that comes with this. You'll get the class four receiver hitch for you, and you're going to get the smart trailer tow connector, which includes Bliss with the trailer tow uh, coverage uh, when you have where Bliss is available. So, if it has Bliss, it'll also include monitoring the trailer too. Uh, now, this year it does not mention that you can add the tow tech package to this. Uh, so, because I believe this is going to be different, I think things are a little bit different this year. In fact, I did not see the tow tech package this year, so it doesn't seem to be included. Now, this is not available with the 2.7 EcoBoost payload package, as you can see there at the bottom. So, uh, this is a great way to, if you just need a hitch uh, to be able to, to tow some extra things, it's going to come with it. Uh, and don't forget, your does not include your integrated trailer brake controller. So you'll need to go up to the tow package for that, which we're going to talk about next. Now let's talk about the trailer tow package. Now this package also is uh, available on your XL on either the 101A or 102A equipment groups. Um, and uh, this package, uh, you don't really know nothing else that's uh, uh, it's not available with. And this package will include all the things that we did talk about as part of the class four receiver hitch. You're going to get the hitch. You're going to get the wiring as well as your adapter for the wiring. And you're going to also get the uh, smart trailer tow connector includes bliss where bliss is available. Also upgraded with this, which is really nice, is this is where you get your integrated trailer brake controller, and you're going to also get the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. So that is that knob, so you can kind of turn that. Uh, it does say it's not available on the XL base, but that package is no longer available. So this is last year's information. So it is uh, going to be, I'm just checking my notes here, it is available since the, now it's a 101A and a 102. That's going to still be included. So trailer integrated or the Pro Trailer Backup Assist, which is really cool. And you're going to get the tailgate LED. Uh, that is standard on Larry and above, but on the XL, it'll be included with this package. So uh, that's a real nice uh, trailer tow package. If you're wanting an integrated trailer brake controller, the uh, as well as the trailer backup assist, uh, tailgate LED light, which is nice backing up at nighttime. And then, of course, all the other trailer tow features. This is a, a package that you'll want to make sure you upgrade. Now let's talk about the Max Trailer Tow Package. Now this package is available again on the XL, either the 101A or 102A Equipment Group. Uh, and this uh, this one does require you to have certain engines. So e you have to have at least either the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine or the 5.0 liter engine or that Power Boost hybrid engine. Uh, and on the XL trim does also require you to have the heavy duty trailer to, uh, payload package because it gives you those gear sets and everything. So what's included in this package, you get the 355 electronic locking rear axle if you order this with a 35 EcoBoost. Uh, uh, this says without the heavy duty payload package, but on this and you are required to do that uh, or with the hybrid two-wheel drive engine and then it's going to be the 373 electronic locker if you get it with the 5.0 liter the 35 eco boost uh, or also the power boost with the 4x4 so that's how that's gonna uh, you're gonna be geared out there and then you will have the just like on the the hitch as well as the tow package you're going to get the wiring there. You're going to also get the hitch receiver. You're going to get the, tro uh, the Pro Trailer Backup Assist, the Smart Trailer Tow Connector, Integrated Trailer Brake Controller. Uh, but with this package, you also get the 36-gallon fuel tank. You're also going to get the upgraded rear bumper, so it's going to be able to handle even more weight back there. Now, do keep in mind with this package on the XL trim that is not available with the 17-inch steel or silver steel wheel. Uh, not available with the 17-inch silver painted alloy wheel uh, or the 18-inch chrome wheels. And then also not available, of course, with the 2.7 or the 3.3 liter V6 engine. So uh, again, Max Trader Tow Package, if you plan on towing a lot with it, this might be a package you want to add to your order. Now let's talk about the snowplow prep package. This package is available in the XL trim on any of your bed uh, configuration or your cab configurations as well as your bed links. Um, and uh, does require to have 4x4 and does require to have the 5.0 liter V8 engine. Um, and it does require on the XL trim, as you can see there, it does ha require the uh, privacy glass with the rear defrost um, because it needs that. It's going to relay that that power anyway and uh also on this one too it's available on the, the 101a or 102a equipment groups now what in, it's included with this you do get the electronic shift on the fly of course we already mentioned if you're four by four you typically get that um but it is saying on the lariat ones you do get f you're going to the two-speed automatic that's why it, it mentions that because on the lariat and above you go with that 
on this and you'll have to be kind of in a sense come down equipment to the electronic shift on the fly also you're going to get a snow plow mode button on the instrument panel that will disable the uh, following features to maintain uh, the required electrical charge uh, margins during plow operation so it will deactivate the onboard 400 watt outlet any fog lights you might have um, and that's pretty much it on the XL trim because the rest of those features are uh, you'd see on other trims and also you get a snowplow mode button also activates relay to the snowplow controls so that that's really nice if you plan to do that as plow uh, something or use a plow you're going to want to make sure you have this prep package on your truck now there's one package that is optional on the 101A that's included in the 102A equipment group and that is that Ford Copilot 362.0 and as we mentioned already you are getting as part of standard equipment on the XL the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking you're getting the lane keeping system rear view camera auto high beams reverse sensing system now for this year as well as post collision braking so this package when you add this is going to give you the bliss with the cross traffic alert and it's also giving you the reverse brake assist. So you're getting those two features as upgrades when you go to this package from what's standard on the 101A uh, or the 101A equipment group. So if you want to add this, uh, of course, optional on the 101A, if you want to add those two features, uh, then you would make sure you add this package to your vehicle. Uh, so that's all the different packages. Let's get in some standalone options now. One other package that I almost forgot about because they actually listed it in with the freestanding options, and that is the Sync 4 with the Enhanced Voice Recognition System. And I think it's a package instead of just one feature because it does include the series, uh, well, includes a lot of things. So uh, first, let me tell you, tell you that is, this is available on the 101A Equipment Group. It is listed and included as part of the 102A, but if you want to as a standalone option, you can get it on the 101A Equipment Group if you don't want some of the other features as part of the 102A. So Sync 4A or the Sync 4 with the Enhanced Voice Recognition System does include the Sirius XM, uh, satellite uh, with the 360L uh, already gets an 8 inch touchscreen, the wireless uh, phone connection. Uh, you get 911 assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, digital owner's manual. But you also get the, this is where you get the connected navigation if you want that and the conversational voice command recognition system. So it's an upgraded system that gets you that con connected navigation. Um, so that, that's a nice upgrade for you if you want to go to that route and give you the Sirius XM uh, radio too. So you're getting both those features when you upgrade to this. So again, is available as optional equipment on the 101A without having to go up to the 102A equipment group. Now, remember, we are using the build-in price for 22 on this, but there are a lot of these features are the same as last year when it comes to the freestanding options here. Uh, and I'm going to kind of go through some of these because some of these are accessories you may want to think about getting later. In fact, I think I'm only going to talk about the freestanding options this year when it comes to these things instead of some of those other accessories and, and kind of break those down just so you can see what's the freestanding option. So we're going to talk about these options because a lot of these options are things that you really need to get at the factory. Um, so I'm kind of saying they're factory and factory standalone options here that we'll cover. There'll be a lot more listed in the exterior features. As you can see, there's a lot of them in there. But a lot of these are things, some of these are things you can get afterwards through accessories. And again, you can add it to your build. I recommend you not. Uh, it could hold up your build, especially if they have, because uh, all those things take time to put on. And that's, uh, they can only do so many of those in a day. And so that can cause your build to not get uh, picked for scheduling because it needs these bad accessories which you can always get afterwards and have your dealer put them on or you can put them on yourself so let's go ahead and go through some of these and kind of talk about the factory installed options first and uh, they're not in the same order as my sheet here so as we go through we're going to actually i'm going to check mark so i make sure i cover all the options here now the first one i know will not be listed on here is the front license plate bracket so you'll notice it is not showing on this particular vehicle and the image so front license plate bracket is a, a standalone option in states that don't require a front license plate like Kansas. Uh, states that do require a front license plate, it's standard equipment. Either way, it's a no charge option, so you can add it to your vehicle, um, build. We do that on, we add it to all of our vehicles because we do a lot of out of state sales where they need a front tag a license plate, or in Kansas, a lot of us like something fun to put on a front tag a bracket there. So moving on down, all these are bed dividers, toolboxes, the, uh, Tonneau covers, all accessories you can get later. Uh, add those later. I just got a truck myself, and I waited on the retractable bed cover. So just uh, just wait on any of that stuff. Actually, I got the roll-up. Uh, Drop-in bed liner, spray-in bed liner. Those in 22 were holding up builds from being uh, picked. Uh, bed mat as well. 
uh, stowable loading ramps can be added later uh, so uh, in here you do have the rear window defroster with the privacy with the um, privacy glass back here that is optional on the 101a equipment group as you mentioned earlier it was included in the 102a equipment group a box link is also something can be added i just check in my notes here for um that box link there you go it is of course included in that bed utility package i talked about but also it's optional on the 101 or 102a equipment uh, group either if you want to go that route engine block heater also available on the 101 or 102a equipment group if you want to keep that engine cooled off uh, then get that uh, engine block heater uh, people that live in those cold weather states want to make sure they have that on their vehicle um, of course splash guard something you it's an accessory you can get later as well as the bed tray uh, there which looks a lot like the bed mat to me i think it just they come up a little bit on the side so it's not like the mat uh, wheel locking kit and again it's an accessory uh, either one of those two versions uh, extended range 36 gallon fuel tank is optional uh, just checking my notes here uh, where is that listed um, there it is it is optional on the 101 or 102a equipment group and gives you that bigger 36 gallon fuel tank we did mention earlier it's included in a couple different packages but here you can get it as a standalone option also onboard scales with the smart hitch that's really cool i have it on my lightning uh, that's a pretty cool feature to have uh it does uh, let you know you know how how things look how much you have back there in the payload what's the maximum it can have and so that's available on the 101 or 102a equipment group uh with the smart hitch as well reverse sensing standard equipment not sure why it's listed in here because last year well i know why 22 it was not included 23 it's now standard equipment on your vehicle so keep that in mind 400 watt outlet is optional uh, you can get that on board 400 watt outlet uh with the 40 20 40 bench seat it says um so keep that in mind um and then of course uh you can get you can get this added it gives you the outlet in the bed uh that's a that's a great add and available uh with your super cab or super crew versions with the um on the 101a because i believe this is included in the 102a equipment group uh as well and then speaking of that you do have these different pro power on boards so we did talk about your power boost you can get the 2.4 kilowatt you cannot get that unless you have a power boost and it's standard on those you can add the two kilowatt pro power on board if you'd like to as you can see it gives you a couple more outlets back here instead of just one and uh, that is available with your other engines so that's you can add that to your build um doesn't mention it in here uh anywhere where's that at so it's not listed in here for some reason uh and those power boosts you can upgrade to the 7.2 kilowatt pro power on board so if you want to upgrade from the standard 2.4 to the 7.2 four outlets including a 240 volt uh back there too uh that's something you can upgrade uh, for your uh, as long as you have the hybrid engine uh for the vehicle there Let's see, fog lights uh, mentioned it is a standalone option on either the 101A or 102A. Has been included in a couple different appearance packages, so that's an option for you. Uh, and then these, these other spotlights and such, LED spotlights, there are a couple different mirrors that it's not showing in here. Oh, here they are. Here we go. So we do have some upgrades to these mirrors. So this first upgrade, uh, I believe that is where you get your heated mirrors, which we said was standard equipment. So there you go. does require you to add the high package to get this. Uh, it will give you the power and heat and turn signal. That's what you're getting added to this one is you get your turn signals outside of those mirrors. So if you want that, you can upgrade. Uh, you will have to have the high package to get that one. Um, and um, so that, that's an option for you. Uh, also, you do have the trailer tow mirrors. So we're going to say no there. And then this other one is your trailer tow mirrors. It does require to have either the tow package or the max trailer tow package to get the tow mirrors. Uh, it'll probably tell us that. Actually, it says you need to add the high package. But this year, it uh, doesn't look like that. So you can get the tow, pack, tow mirrors. Um, it is mentioning in here that's only available on the 101A equipment group, not the 102A, which is interesting. So I'll have to get some clarification on that. So you might check with your dealer on that when you go to do that, because it looks like here to get these two upgraded mirrors uh, with the LED approach lamps and the side uh, spotlight mirrors um, that does require to have the Coat Popilot 2.0 and also only available on the 101A equipment group. So that might be why you, you have to have those packages. So uh, that's a different upgrade there. Um, so there you go. And then doesn't mention anything else. Here's your running boards. Black platform running boards are available, uh, available on either the 101 or 102A equipment group. 
And not mentioned in here, I call it an exterior feature, is the skid plates. So if you want the skid plates, it is a standalone option on the 101A or 102A equipment group. And also added recently on the 22 models that's now showing in the 23 is the auto start stop removal. So if you don't like the auto start stop, you can actually remove it completely from your build on the 101A or 102A equipment group. And it's available on, on all of the engines except for the hybrid engine, of course. Um, so that is also available. I consider it an exterior feature, but even though it's a button on the inside. So let's talk about some of the interior features now. So in here, of course, I won't talk about seating configurations, but there's a lot of accessories in here as well that are just things you just put in the vehicle and can get through accessories, including all these little first aid kits and roadside assistance kits. Uh, those all can be, uh, you can get those later. Uh, it does mention the privacy glass here, not showing that because I think that back glass is privacy even on standard equipment. So that's not listed here um, as a something you can add. Um, the cup tray, that's again, accessory here. You have the floor liners. So tray like floor liners, you can add that. You have another one um, that is without the mats. So if you want it with or without the carpeted mats, you can do it that way. So you got the two different versions of your carpet mats. Again, available on the 200 uh, or the 100, 101 or 102A equipment group. Um, does mention on those liners that it has to be super cab or super crew version to get those because they come with the rear mats as well there. And then you can also get the color uh, carpeted mats um, as well, uh, available on the 101 or 102A equipment group. So you can get either one of those. You mentioned it. There it is listed right down below there. We didn't see it as standard equipment. So it looks like you have to upgrade and add that to your vehicle there. Um, and then integrated trailer brake controller, as I mentioned right there, is available in the 101 or, 10, or 102A equipment group and does require at least the class 4 receiver hitch. Uh, to get that is included in the trailer tow package uh, or the max trailer tow package, so those are going to already be included there. And uh, for the seats, of course, it's going to get the, uh, you can get the, um, well, let's see here. Let's just make sure we met, didn't miss anything else. Interior work surface as well is available. Um, that is actually listed under packages for some reason. You can get the interior work surface. Uh, that just allows you to be able to kind of work like that. So that's pretty cool to have. The shifter folds down. Uh, so, and then, of course, it's, it looks a little different if you don't have the console. If you have the 40, 20, 40, you still get a work surface, but it looks a little different. Uh, than that uh, so it actually kind of folds out here on the console so it's pretty cool um, and uh, so the console vault is an accessory so uh, last things to mention is the seating you can get the vinyl 40 20 40 front seats uh, optional on the 101a equipment group only but you can get the vinyl seats if you want that live on a farm know you're going to get it dirty you can do that as well as the uh, console the 40 console 40 seats with the flow through console is available on the super cab or super crew 101a equipment group is included in a couple different uh, uh, packages as well um, that we mentioned earlier uh, so that's available and gives you a couple extra outlets as well behind there so that's all your uh, standalone options there and um, so don't all the others kind of our accessories that you can add afterwards some are considered dealer installed options uh, and some are listed under accessories, but I decided this year I'm not going to include and go through all those because I really recommend you don't get those added to your order. Uh, yeah, you say, well, I do want it. I want to have it. You don't want it installed for me, um, but your dealer can install those for you later and it will hold up your builds. I've seen a lot of people have builds moved and be overlooked because of certain of, the, of these features. So definitely want to wait and get those afterwards. So there you go. There's your complete guide video on the XL trim for the 2023 Ford F-150. As I mentioned, said it was going to be thorough, very thorough. Hopefully you use the timestamps down below to move around in the video uh, so you can get the most out of this uh, this video and it uh, helps you give you some information on that. Now, one of the things I didn't mention uh, is there, there are different gear ratios that are available and axles, depending on your configuration. You can access those uh, down in here. Let's see if we can get to those. Um, let's see here. Let me find those. You do have several. There we go. So if you're looking back over here, it is listed right under your powertrain information. It does show you what's available. When you try to select them, it'll tell you whether it is or isn't available with your cab configuration and motor 
uh, combination there. So you can see there are upgrade costs to some of those. If you go from the what's like this in here has the standard 315. If you want to go to the 331 or 373, it's, you can see how much that cost difference is for you. Uh, but select your select your you know your cab configuration, your bed configuration, and your motor, and then you can see what's available there on top of that uh, based on that information so uh, but hopefully that that information does help you out that's one thing i didn't mention that i've in the past i've kind of went through and spent like five minutes just on that but i want to let you know that that's how you would want to go through and adjust those once we get the 23 configure on the website there so uh, hopefully you did enjoy this hopefully it did uh, give you some information that you can find valuable out there and uh, of course don't forget if you like did like this information smash that like button for me i'd really appreciate it uh, also don't forget if uh, you f are struggling to find a, a good uh, local dealership that will honor, you know, a good uh, pricing, uh, we do MSRP pricing here on any custom ordered. Uh, we do uh, know how to order these and put them in the COVP so the orders are looked at for scheduling and not overlooked and not scheduled at all because uh, the dealership did not put those in there. Keep that in mind. We also know how price increase works and how to do price protection here at Law MacArthur and how to process those as well as we know how to lock in any of your uh, your rates when you order the vehicle and make sure you get those rates when you get them when the vehicle finally comes in and you get that vehicle we know how to lock those in and how to, to make sure you get those rates too so several different things that we do that some dealers don't do so if you'd like to work with us you can we do free shipping as well so you can contact us the way our free shipping works is we're very transparent about it if you finance a vehicle with us at standard rates uh then we will can uh, we'll pay up to thousand dollars of your shipping costs so if you want to have it shipped right to your door we can do that and we'll help cover for that. So if you plan to finance a vehicle anyway, great way to be able to get it shipped right to your door. So, and what we mean by standard rates, I do have to clarify that recently is, is that any of the special low rates we're not able to do because it doesn't cover up enough of the cost for us to be able to do that. So that's why we uh, were able to do that. So the cost of the shipping does come out of the financing reserve we get from the lender. And uh, that, that's why we usually cap it at a thousand because that's about as much as that financial reserve does cover there. So I uh, just want to let you know that. And uh, so if, you, if there's something you want to do, make sure you contact us. Numbers are on the screen here at the dealership. Uh, don't forget, you can find us all over on, on Google by putting in Law MacArthur as well. And we're on social media. So you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or at Law MacArthur on any of those. Uh, also, if you want to see more of my content, you can find me. There's my Linktree account. So you can just click, uh, just go to that uh, URL. You can see all the different places on social media as well as different places on YouTube uh, too and if you want to email me you can see that as well right there so definitely reach out and if you're not subscribed to the channel hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed over to the channel hit the notification bell that way you can get notified the next time another video uploaded to our YouTube channel and until the next one we'll see you later have a great day